How much wax can we actually scrape off 100 kilograms of apples? The ending was unexpected. Before that, I prepared some confetti spray. Let's see how much confetti these sprays can produce. Everyone, take your spray and aim it all at Asen. Soon, Asen was covered in confetti. It was like he was wearing a colorful ghillie suit. Finally, while Asen couldn't see, I threw it directly into the nearby ditch. I don't know where they got that camel from. This time, I'm going to find out how much water a camel can drink at once. First, I poured bottled mineral water into a basin, but I still felt that wasn't enough water for the camel, so I brought over some large buckets. It's clear that the two of us are pouring water, and we're still slower than the camel drinks. Next, we prepared 100 liters of water. Unexpectedly, it was all drunk by the camel. Could this be a camel that just came from the desert? After the Russian experimenters took a bite of an apple, they immediately prepared 100 kilograms. This wasn't to see how delicious the apples were. Instead, they wanted to see how much fruit wax was on the surface of these apples. Apples, so they called their partners to scrape off the fruit wax together. I have to say, that's a pretty strange idea, and it only took a day. Finally, I scraped off all 100 kilograms of apple wax. Next, I poured it into a basin and weighed it. It weighed about 60 grams. It seems there wasn't as much wax on the surface of 100 kilograms of apples, as I'd imagined. But don't try this at home.